in this problem we're being asked to write an equation to represent something from the real world. In this situation it says Maria and Dan each opened a savings account. Maria opened her account with a starting amount of $140 and she's going to put in $60 per month. And Dan opened his account with no starting amount and he's going to put in $80 per month. And the, they're saying let X represent the number of months after today and they want us to write an expression for the amount of money in each of the accounts after X number of months. So this is a, a typical kind of problem that we can model with an equation and we're going to use this form AX plus B. Uh, in this form the B is a number that represent, represents the starting amount, some constant, something that doesn't change. Um, if for example Maria starts with $140 so that's what B is going to represent. And then the thing multiplied by the variable this chunk represents something that changes usually over time so every week or every month in this case every month Maria is going to be putting in $60 so we would say X is the number of months and we'll multiply it by $60 that's going to represent how much she's added so let's write that out so for the amount of money in Maria's account is going to be $60 for every month so 60 times X so after one month, this will represent 60. After two months, this will represent 120. Plus the amount she put in from the beginning, which was $140. So that's our AX plus B form, 60X plus 140. Now Dan opened his account with no starting amount. So the B is zero. So we don't even need to write it. So we don't have that part. But we do have the, the A times X part. He's going to put in $80 per month. So for Dan, this is 80 times x. So those are the two expressions that represent the amount of money in their accounts after a certain number of months, x number of months. Now we want to write an equation to show that the two accounts have the same amount of money. So at some point they're going to be equal. There'll, there'll be an equal amount of money in here. If we wanted to know when that is, we could set them equal to each other. So we could say 6x plus 140 equals 80x. And if you solved that for x, you would know how, at how many months do those two accounts have the same amount. So that's how to write an equation with variables on both sides uh, that represents a real world situation.